one of the dangers of a lesser evil ethic whereby we justify to ourselves the choice of a lesser evil over a greater evil is that it gets us to accustomed to choosing evil. If something is truly evil, then it is still evil, right? Even if it's a so-called lesser evil. If something isn't evil, let's not call it that. But if it is evil, though we perceive it not to be as bad as some worse alternative, then we shouldn't be choosing it at all. In God's moral universe, there are really only two options. There is good and evil. Not good, evil, and lesser evil. Or just simply evil and lesser evil. Notice this strict binary in the text and in other verses of Scripture that I'll read. Let love be without hypocrisy, abhor what is evil, and cling to what is good. You don't see really any middle ground there, do you? Between good and evil. Abhor what is evil, cling to what is good. Not abhor what is thought to be really evil and settle for what is considered not as evil. So this either or nature of morality is quite clear. Something is evil good, is either good or it is evil in God's eyes. It's not partially good or partially evil. And notice the strong terms that describe the disposition that we are supposed to have for each. We are to abhor what is evil and cling to what is good. And that suggests a commitment that, in the strongest possible terms, it's not wavering and it's not full of ambivalence. There's really no category of lesser evils in the Bible, popularly conceived anyway. If something is a lesser evil in the eyes of men, it is simply evil in the sight of God. 